you doing? And welcome to another episode of Three Minutes with Pat out here on the corner of Who Did It and Why. And it's Pro Black Friday again. And today, uh, as always, we're going to talk about black issues. And one of the things that I want, and I really apologize because I should have done it sooner. I was under a lot of false and su- false assumptions. Uh, but today, I, I feel that it's necessary for us to have a English lesson for us to define a few words because some of us uh, simply don't know what these words mean. The very first word on my list is the word bigot. Basically, a bigot is somebody that strongly dislikes a person or an idea or something or another. You know, you're seen as bigoted if you have a strong, unreasonable, or unfair dislike of a person or a group of people. You know, you're a bigot. Or an idea, you're a bigot. Or a thing, you're a bigot. You know, you just have a strong and unfair dislike of something. That makes you a bigot. Okay? The next word I want to talk about is prejudice. Because prejudice comes in two forms. It comes in a noun and it comes in a verb. Now, most of the time we use it, we use it in the verb form. All that, that simply means you have a bias towards something. You could be prejudiced towards or prejudiced against something. I'm prejudiced towards vanilla ice cream. I love it. You know, especially over uh, chocolate ice cream. I don't like chocolate ice cream very much. You know, I love cookies and cream. That's my most favorite ice cream. And actually, chocolate ice cream would probably be my least favorite ice cream. So I'm prejudiced against chocolate ice cream. There's nothing wrong with bias. We are all inherently biased in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Prejudice is not a bad word. We are all prejudiced in some way, shape, form, or fashion about most things. It simply means you're you're biased. You have a preference towards something. That's what prejudice means. Now, it does become a bad thing when when you're bigoted and prejudiced towards the same thing. The next word I want to talk about is oppression. Okay? Oppression simply means to unfairly or unjustly or, or cruelly Exercise your authority or power. If you're denying certain people certain rights that they need to live or certain rights that they need to have an equal and fair standard of living to the rest of the population, then you're oppressing them because you're cruelly and unjustly exercising your authority or your power, provided you have the authority and the power to do those things. If you don't have authority or power, you can't oppress anyone and oppression is normally a group thing true enough there can be a situation where one person may oppress another but we're speaking in cultural societal terms here oppression is a group thing now for these last two i'm going to take out my glasses to illustrate the serious nature of these last two and some of you can guess what they are the first one is racist the second one is racism because They are two terms that don't necessarily mean the same thing. A racist is someone that simply believes that one race of people is superior to another race of people. There are a lot of racists out there, and they come in all shapes, forms, and fashions, okay? Um, And to counteract a lot of notions by a lot of us, Yes, black people can be racist too. We can have a belief that being black is superior to being white. We all know white people can be racist. We all know, you know, Chinese people can be racist. We all know everyone else can be racist. But I do want to dispel that notion that black people can't be racist. We can, in fact, be racist. What is a little more difficult for black people to 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 practice is this a little more difficult for black people to practice racism okay and when you say racism what you simply mean is a system by which a group of people oppresses another group of people now when we talk about racism we go back to the word oppress to have power and authority The reason why it is commonly believed, and I frankly agree with it, is that 
black people as a collective group cannot be cannot practice racism is because as a collective group we have very minimal power and authority so black people in america cannot practice racism in america but black people can be racist now i want to make another distinction you can be racist and not practice racism just like you can practice racism and not be racist because you remember if you're practicing racism you are practicing oppressing a certain group of people you don't have to believe that you're superior or that group is inferior to oppress them you simply have the authority and the will to do so and when i say will to do so that could be apathy that could be participating in oppression participating in racism without giving any thought to the fact that you're participating in racism you're you don't think about it you just do it it's just it's part of your life it's normalized you're participating in racism but you don't feel superior and you don't feel like other people are inferior likewise you can be a racist you can feel like you're superior to others but not necessarily have the power or the desire or the will to oppress them so you internalize your feelings and you leave them there so i just wanted to hit on these points uh because these words are used incorrectly way too many times to be deemed acceptable so let's get it together and i'll see you next week Clicks here if you want to see more videos uh, from the Three Minutes of Pat series, or click here if you want to see uh, some of the older coaching videos that I that I've been doing over the years.